Hey everyone, uh, Glenn Sanford here, founder of eXp Realty. And today on the Expansion Podcast, I'm excited to welcome uh, Andy Zeng. He's a four-time icon agent out of Toronto, Canada, my my country, my home country. I was born in, in Canada. But uh, welcome. Hey, welcome, Andy. Thank you, Grant. It's, it's an honor to be here with you. And it's an honor to be on your podcast. Oh, well, th- thanks for thanks for thanks for being on. So, so Andy, um, you you've been in the business uh, uh, for uh, about sixteen years, I think. Um, you know, had been with the the company with the big big balloon for a while. Uh, made the move over to EXP, but maybe uh, tell me a little bit about your background and how you got into real estate. That's a great question. Thank you, Glenn. And you know, I actually my family and I actually moved to Canada uh, when I was. When, uh, in t- 1993, when I was eight. So growing up, you know, I was just a naughty kid, uh, okay at school, and I I do part times at uh, in a restaurant while I was a, in high school, and actually, yeah, that's how I actually sort of like growing up. And my, you know, my parents always wanted my minimum standard for them for me was to making sure that I graduate from university or a college, which I did. I graduated from a college in uh, business accounting in um, 2006. And when I actually finished college, I didn't know where to go. Didn't didn't know where to start my career. So my brother, uh, James, who is also EXP agent right now, started his uh, real estate in 2019, told me, say, it's a time to, a good time to actually go into real estate. And because there's a lot of opportunity over there. So which I got my license in 2008. So about 16 years ago. Okay, awesome. So yeah. And and um, so 2008, you just uh, graduated um, with your, your your degree. It, um, and uh, where'd you go to school? It was actually a, a college in local in Toronto. It's called Centennial College. I actually w- was there for uh, business accounting. I thought that was going to go into accounting, but you know what? Totally different direction. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and I'm, I'm yeah. guessing that you're glad that you changed direction. Um, uh, oh, oh, for, for sure. Bit. For sure. It's a totally different way, where, which is an amazing career that I'm having right now, right? Excellent, excellent. So um, uh, you, you got your, your license in 2000, 2008. Um, which was That's an interesting correct. time to, to get your real estate license. Um, uh, did you go full time? Um, and, and obviously there was the housing crisis in 2009, probably wasn't the easiest year. But how, how was your first couple of years in the business? That's a great question. Uh, you know, the first couple of years, uh, it wasn't a good, I mean, I kind of worked part time, part time. But um, I got my first deal very beginning of the first uh, 2008 and didn't do much in the first two years, but uh, I mean, it w- sorry, first year. Second year, I was okay. I was doing a lot of buyers. And I think in the third year, I, ca- I kind of got tired of being working with buyers where, you know, every single day I was taking, bu- I mean, I could take any six different groups in, a, in on a weekend. So which got me a little bit thinking where I should actually lean towards listing. And that's the time where I, I kind of changed it, my career to the balloon company that that over there. Okay. Now, did you start on a real estate team or did you just start individually and try to just figure it out on your own? It was actually individual and I was trying to figure out my own. And that's the reason I actually t- thinking that I could go into the, the, the that, com- that company that I'm going into can learn some skills in terms of listings. That got me got into that direction. Okay. And yes. then uh, obviously um, you, you were there at, uh, what would you say, at Remax. Um, and um, uh, how was how was your business? How did it progress over the years? And um, and then what what was it that you uh, that made you uh, look at EXP and then make a switch? That's a great great question. Um, let's start with uh, let's start with the how how it go in terms of my career with Remax. So I actually um, was there for about nine years. And majority of time, I was actually trying to get listings, and I didn't learn that listings from from Remax. It was actually a 
Mike Ferry coaching system where I actually go, got into back in 2011. And I started learning towards getting listings. And I think I, I remember one of my best year in 2015, it was 2015 back then with Remax. One of those, I, I thought that was a good year. I hit uh, $500,000 and got me thinking, you know what? Can I repeat this again? So I would keep on thinking about this. What is, what is the best way to actually keep this going, right? Because I, I remember, you know, having this um, in, ter in terms of getting more listings. What is the way of actually getting more listings? Or can we repeat it next year? That's, that's something that I always think about. And I actually, in fact, after that year, I, I, um, I started my, you know, I'm not sure if it's called sub brokerage and um, I, I incorporated over there with Remax and it shift a lot of liability to me, which I didn't like at, at the end. Um, it's a totally different game with, uh, with EXP. Now, going back to uh, your question about EXP, why EXP is that at the beginning, I heard about it in 2019, and I thought that it was uh, it was too good. What EXP provide was too good. So, and until COVID hits, and then all the local brokerage, including Remax, we have we have, we have nine office, nine locations. They're shutting it down, and they want to go online. I'm like, if you're gonna be thinking, learning how to go online, I need to look into EXP, which they've been on online for almost 10 years at that time. So I kind of revisit EXP and sort of understanding the model. When I look at the you know, revenue sharing model, you know what, this is exactly what I like. And one of the things that I really like about EXP is that they don't just uh, reward top producers with a plat, right? What you have there in terms of icon agent, we actually got more than a plat. We got um, stock rewards, which is amazing for any top producers. Now, yes. um, you, being a Mike Ferry, are you still uh, part of the Mike Ferry organization? Are you still doing Mike Ferry coaching? I actually, at this moment, I, I kind of stop, and I've do more. Um, I've been with tr Mike Ferry training for over about 11, 12 years consistently. Been a co coaching client, and I know you know that's the system that I've been learned being uh, from my be very beginning of my career. And in terms of, yeah, I kind of stopped right at this moment. Okay, okay. But obviously a big influence on your your career. Um, um, I, 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 uh, what, what did you take away from, like, what's been your biggest takeaway of, you know, that, that time you spent, uh, you know, working with Mike Ferry? That's a great question. Honestly, I think that Mike Ferry system, it's definitely a system that sales every sales should learn, I, I believe. The reason being is it's like a foundation of what we want to do and knowing what to say and how to get there to what we're looking for. Just like call, oh, call, calling, calling database, you have to know and what to say and how to, get, how to ask the right questions to get where you're looking for. I, uh, one of my majority of my business is actually from expires. I did a little bit for, for sell that owners. So I know exactly what to say to get to what we're looking for. So that has, I believe that foundation is, is very important um, in terms of career of sales. It's just like a building a, a house uh, with the Mike Ferry system. It's like a foundation. And after that, you, you learn how to, you have a concrete uh, foundation. You can build any type of homes. You can build traditional classic, you can build modern homes. It's up to you to how, how you want to, want to build it later on, right? For example, social media, marketings. Yeah. Right. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And now, now you have a, you have your own real estate team now as well. Um, just what does that look like? Well, currently we were, we started our, uh, our team buildings towards of last year. I'll say mid last year, we're kind of going into building that. And that has been great. Right now we have a team of 15 people, 15 agents. And with that, we, we I'll say a lot of new newer agents and some veteran agents on, on, on the team, and we're, we're we're doing good right now. We're getting to what we're looking for. Still looking to expand the team. Right. How how's your day to day uh, shifted since starting the team? So a, a lot of um, helping agents on in terms of coaching and training them 
motivate motivate them. That has been changed a lot from before in terms of being in individual agents uh, grinding on my own versus kind of have to making sure that everyone's doing their, their job right. So always going to be there for them, bring providing value. Right, and and what and are they are they now you know calling you know call Fisbos expired uh, or what is their how are how are are leads being generated either for them or how are they going about generating those leads? Yes. So now, in, uh, since I kind of joined uh, EXP uh, four years ago, I started learning in, uh, not just with my my ferry system along with lead generation online. So I kind of will go into that, and we've been having a lead generation uh, platform on helping uh, third party companies helping us in terms of lead generation. And our job is to actually convert them. So we have, I think, one of the major source right now will be lead, uh, online leads for us. So we're our job converting. Yes. And are you doing that, that through your own website, or are you getting them from from th third parties where you're paying a referral fee? What does that look like? We we're actually having we, we do have our own website. It's called listingsoftoronto.com. We have that website. We're driving a lot of traffic from there to get us the leads and we're doing multiple things uh instead of inst for example uh facebook instagram uh google paper ads youtube even and in terms of uh paying uh third third party paying we, we pay them as well we, we have that as well okay okay awesome and what what's, yes. what are you using crm wise to to manage all this uh we're using lofty it's used to call chime yes Yes, so it's been it's been one of the one of the uh, CRM that we, we've been using, and it's so far so good. I mean, could it be better? We we actually wanting to look into a follow up boss as well, and uh, it, yes, it, I, I feel that follow up boss was one of the uh, user friendly. It's just that it, it doesn't have an IDX to kind of stop me, uh, but still working, st still staying staying at where we are right now. But yeah, Lofty is the one that we're using. Yes. So Lofty is uh, your IDX, your property search. Consumers can search there. It drops in. Um, now, I believe Lofty has some, you know, it's been continuing to improve. What do you like the most about Lofty for, for agents that might be considering Lofty? Uh, I mean, a majority of the, of, the, of the CRM work pretty much similar. Well, I, one of the one things that I most like is that it does have its own app in terms of Consumer side, not just on the on the apps that uh, agents using. Consumer has their own app right now, which works. I'm trying to get the agent, my agents, to actually encourage the the client to actually download the consumer app where we can see their behavior. Which that's one thing that I, I actually really like. Now, is that a, is that a white is that a white labeled app or is that uh, is that um, an app in the app store that's you know? Labeled it's, lofty, um, or is it like labeled your? It's listings actually in Toronto? a their app is called closely closely. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, yeah, I haven't I haven't checked it out, so I, it, interesting. Um, now, obviously, you've been you know, successful. You've been cranking away. I think last last year maybe did a hundred plus sides, uh, so very solid production. Um, uh, what what advice would you give to to agents who are thinking of you know either either striving for icon or 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 building a team or or what have you? Um, do you do you have any advice for you know for being successful in this industry called you know, real estate? I, you know, I, I do one hundred percent believe with EXP is that we have to plug in. Since EXP, it's actually a cloud-based company. And if agents do not plug in themselves to the company, workplace, um, networking, and also lo local office and their partners, it's going to be hard. It's going to be feeling very lonely. And that, I, I think that's one of the reasons uh, people are leaving because they're not plugging in, fully emerged, right? I and I believe that if they're doing, if they're fully emerged to what we're doing here, they'll see so much benefit. And I'm talking about just learning from myself is that when I was three at Remax, I see myself being at the ceiling. 
And I, after that, I, uh, after I've been here with EXP, I see there's so much opportunity here by looking at just going through that workplace. There's so much, so many things that we can do in terms of we can learn if you're actually wa wanting to do so. That's 100%. I, I believe that is plugging in. Excellent, excellent. So, so plug in. Lots of resources. Lots of places to get, you know. Uh, connections. Um, now, have you uh, in in your plugging in? Uh, have you uh, been able to leverage Workplace and EXP to you know may either generate um, uh, leads or be able to give leads out to agents in other markets? Have you done done any of that yet? I have not done yet, but I'm actually looking because of that. In terms of Workplace, I've learned so much that. Besides buying and selling homes, building a team, there's a lot of things that we can do around it, which I learned from, from, from work, just literally from workplace, which is amazing. Yeah, awesome. Well, one of the things that I've, I've definitely got a lot of people who've shared is the more you share in workplace, the more you build your brand, the more people will see you and understand you and the market that you're in, that you'll get you know, inbounds for sure. So, um, you know, whether it be um, consuming to, to figure out who um, who's doing what to then, you know, sharing what's working for you and and, and doing that. It's a it's a great place to do it. Uh, obviously, I'll see you next week. EXPCon Canada is coming up in Toronto. Um, so excited, uh, excited to see see you. Um, uh, I, and with that, you know, uh, I think uh, one congratulations on your success. Um, yeah, real estate is a lot more fun than probably uh, pushing numbers around spreadsheets. And uh, uh, with that, uh, you know, I'm going <laughs> to say uh, thanks for being part of the XP. And uh, hopefully you guys got some great tips and ideas from uh, my conversation here with uh, with Andy. And by the way, you can also uh, follow Andy on Instagram, I believe, right? That's uh, Is that where you do some uh, – that's Andy Zhang team. Uh, is that the – that's correct. Andy Zang team. That dude? Yep. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to go follow you right now. So th thanks, Andy. Thank you, Glenn.